do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter circulation and that we are studying topic plasma now plasma accounts approximately 50 to 60 percent of your blood that's how important plasma is so let's study about it today now if you observe the blood composition at least 50 to 55 percent or approximately 60 percent is plasma that's almost 50 percent of it this plasma consists of 90 percent water and some amount or approximately 7 to 8 percent is plasma proteins now this plasma proteins can be of two different types one is the serum plasma and another one is your plasma protein so basically serum and plasma are the two different proteins that are associated with it now serum proteins are much talked about whereas plasma proteins are least talked about serum proteins are the one that gives viscosity maintains osmotic balance and one of the examples is fibrinogen now fibrinogen do we know that word yes we do know that once you have a cut on your body we all know that blood is going to coagulate and this clotting mechanism is done by clotting factors and one of them is fibrinogen obviously there are others associated with it but fibrinogen is one of the most crucial one so basically if we talk about plasma which counts of 50 percent of total blood which is the major part of the blood 90 percent in it is pure and pure water now it has two different kinds of proteins one is the serum and another one is plasma now whenever in life you have given blood for sampling or testing they always make sure for tests that has to detection of antibodies or certain antigens they try and separate the serum and plasma it makes the technician's job more easy and the test results are more accurate it's only the difference of coagulating factors that try and separate them your serum proteins an example of which is fibrinogen one of the clotting factors it tries and gives viscosity or simply i say thickness it tries and maintain osmotic balance and this osmotic balance is very crucial whenever something is flowing between the cells or just around the cells and finally whenever clotting factors are not present it is termed as serum so whenever you add or remove clotting factors there is a differentiation between plasma and serum that happens now there are something else that are present in it the three percent nutrient substances and this three percent nutrient substances are certain nutrients inorganic substances some amount of glucose certain amino acids which are associated with plasma now gases like o2 are also there the main function of plasma is just to transport and what do they transport they try and transport oxygen water certain metabolites in certain cases also they help to remove nitrogenous waste from certain regions so students in this part of the chapter we came across plasma one of the crucial components of plant and i hope you all are clear with this part thank you